Hi everybody, Lana Lamb here with your Deco Art Art for Everyone project. So are you like me and you've got a shoebox or a storage box full of frames that you no longer use because they no longer match your home decor? Well, I am going to use a product today that's going to change your mind about pulling those frames out. We're going to be using DecoArt Americana Decor Matte Metallics. I absolutely love my frames to be metallic and it dries to a hard finish, which is great if you're going to be using it on furniture. It's indoor outdoor and soap and water cleanup. So let's grab some frames and let's get painting. All right, so I'm gonna paint these two frames up for you guys. As you can see, I've already started this one. I've painted two sides. It's just got one coat on there. Look at the coverage with one coat. So some of your projects may take one, some may take two, some may take three, but this, this product, oh my gosh, I just, I love it. I absolutely love it and I've, I've painted it on many types of surfaces not just a wood so this one is wood and this one is metal so this one I'm gonna finish painting with this color which is pewter and this one I'm gonna paint silver because these are the colors that go well in my home so you want to remove your glass and your everything out of it and then I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and clean it Get the oils off of my hands and um, so. and then you can lightly dry it if you need to. So with these products you want to shake them really well and then um, you can use right out of the container but I don't. I just take a plastic spoon and scoop some out onto a paper plate or foam plate and then I work from there. So you're going to want a brush that will work well for the size that you use. And when you apply this paint, you're going to apply it in a continuous stroke. So the stroking movement that you start with is the one that you want to end. So you don't want to come back and pit pat and go this direction if you started this direction. So you want to go the direction that you start with generally just a nice fluid movement will get a nice coat on there um, you don't want to go over it too many times because you could start lifting it so i'm going to finish this frame out now like i said this is only one coat on here look at that this is a wood frame and you want to let the paint dry um, a couple hours in between coats it depends on how warm it is, I think, where you live. Of course, if you've got higher humidity, it may take a little bit longer. Um, I'm pretty warm in my studio here, so it hasn't been taking mine two hours to dry. So, um, But it dries to a nice, hard finish. I painted this on a metal um, gold. It was a gold piece of metal that um, I didn't like the gold. And this is the color I wanted, so I painted it on it, and I love it. it. This is an awesome paint. Now, if you're painting it a bigger project, even painting a small project like this, you wanna let each coat dry, and then you may need to lightly sand in between your coats, very lightly, and then, um, you know, let it harden, especially furniture. You want to let it harden one to two weeks before you actually use it. And it is an indoor-outdoor product. So let's do the silver on this frame. Now this frame is a metal frame. It's very lightweight. Not very heavy, kind of tinny sounding. So we're going to go with some silver on it. And I love the matte finish. I think it is great. And this product comes in, um, so this one will definitely take two coats to cover the red, possibly three, depends on how well the of a coat I can get on here. I'll get some of that moisture out of my brush. You can get it in eight ounces or 16 ounce containers. Um, other products that you could use would be multi-surface paints, um, just your regular um, decor paints, outdoor living paints. 
um, that you could use on here would work great. But, um, oh my gosh, if you haven't tried these metallic paints, I highly recommend them. Just does such a fabulous job. Now, I, I don't want to get my hands in it because I don't want to, you know, mess up the uh, coat of paint that I got there. Oops. So, I'm going to try and hold this down as best I can and paint this other side. Ideally, I would paint two sides. <laughs> and then come back and paint the other two sides. That would probably work best when you're painting a frame. Paint two sides like I did on this one. I let those two sides dry and then I came back and painted the other two sides. I mean, look at that. I just love that. It is gorgeous. And you could add some silver on top of it, burnish it on the edges with some of the silver some gold, some copper, so many colors in this particular paint. So I'm gonna get mine dry, then we're gonna come back and apply a second coat on here. Okay, I quickly dried mine with a heat tool, but I wanted to bring in this one and show it to you. They also have this in a texture, the metallic, it's metallic texture. Gosh, I cannot wait to use this. I just got this, I haven't used it yet. I am so excited to use it. Uh, textured metallic. Oh my gosh. I, I know I'm going to love it. I'm going to absolutely love it. Um, anything with texture. So I quickly dried that first coat and we are going to apply a second coat. This one may need three coats. So I think I'll do two sides. And I love displaying my artwork and my grandkids around my home. So I think I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of my artwork in these frames. See how well the second coat is covering that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side here and then I'm gonna come back and do that side which still feels a little tacky. Such an amazing paint. So easy to work with. Just glides on like butter. Love it. A little pool of paint there, so I want to work that out. And you really don't want to go back and play in it too much after you've put the paint on, because you will start lifting it as it dries. You could cause uh, bumps and drags within the paint. So be sure and let it dry um, and then come back and uh, apply your other coat. Don't, uh, don't play around with it too much. All right, so my frames are dry. Be sure and give them the two to three hours that they need to dry. Do not rush it. Um, let them uh, just cure on their own. That's how the paint hardens up. Um, it begins its hardening process, so you can put your next layer on, and then the one to two weeks if it is a piece of furniture that uh, you are going to be using. Um, I just wanted to show you, and then I put a couple of pieces of my artwork in there, a black and white photo with just a slight bit of purple in it, because these were purple flowers, and I love how they look in here. They look amazing. This was just a piece of wood that I painted up. It's a phone stand. Um, you can do something like that, but I painted this frame a little while back, and um, I wanted a textured frame, so I created a textured frame with um, paper tissue paper, but now they have the texture metallic. So I cannot wait to paint me up some new frames using the texture metallic. I think it's going to just be awesome to use. So I hope you guys are all inspired to go grab some of the Americana decor in the matte metallics and paint up some new home decor projects. We'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye-bye.